Okay, today we're going to start talking about muscles and uh, first before we start doing that we need to cover some connective tissue. Um, on these little mini-me models you'll notice that the gray is always the connective tissue, the white refers to bone. Um, there's a couple kinds of connective tissue that I want to make a distinction about. First of all you have what's known, can you feel the board here? Mm -hmm. uh, an aponeurosis and that's where you have a broad sheet of connective tissue that's going to cover that's going to connect bone to uh, muscle to muscle. I'm going to start over here, okay? So like you have the frontalis muscle here and then you have this broad sheet of connective tissue coming across here that actually connects it back here to the occipitalis muscle. So that's just a broad sheet of connective tissue that cut, connects muscle to muscle. Then you have what's known as the linea alba and the linea alba literally means white line and if you look right hand down here there's a uh, white line right here um, if you've been pregnant before you'll notice that sometimes that turns dark um, but the linea alba is just a sheet of connective tissue that uh, separates out these two strips of muscle right here that we'll get into later on uh, but the linea alba um, literally means white line so it runs down the mid sagittal section and just uh, separates these two rectus abdominis muscles. Then you have something known as fascia. And fascia is uh, more of a broad connective tissue that wraps around muscles and it separates out muscle groups. So like if you're cutting through a steak and you see these white strips in the steak, that's actually the fascia that you're cutting out. So that, or cutting through, that uh, is going to separate out muscle groups. Okay, and then finally you have tendons. And tendons are the connective tissue that wraps around the muscle. The very outside is called the epimesium. And where the epimesium tapers down, like on this muscle right here, you can see it coming down. This would all be wrapped with connective tissue. But then that connective tissue or epimesium uh, kind of tapers down and it connects muscle to bone. So a tendon connects muscle to bone and it's literally just a continuation of the epimesium. All these connective tissues are just continuations of the same thing. They just, it's where they are as, and how they're spread out as to how you name them. So that's your connective tissue. Bye.